The Hinge Centre is a local charity in Bridlington that offers a wide wide range of support uh, from resettlement so from the age of 16 and upwards really for people who are homeless um, or facing homeless so it's about advocating on their behalf, finding um, suitable accommodation to meet their needs, speaking with other agencies, making sure that people are getting what they are entitled to. Hi, my name's Jo and I'm the Community Coordinator here at The Hinge. Um, my job is to oversee all the community projects that run here. So we have Benefit and Welfare, we have um, kids after school and holiday clubs, community events, employment, uh, employability support, um, interview techniques, CVs, cover letters, that kind of thing. But one day I could be doing staff, admin, um, the next day I could be doing some crisis intervention, um, next day I could be doing one-on-one -on -one appointments, personal development sessions, independent living groups. Um, so there is no typical day, every day is different, every day is equally as busy. Today I'm lucky enough to take part in an independent living session. In this one, Sue's teaching cooking skills. We're cooking a chicken karma. So we're making it nice and simple. We've got a couple of jars because we want the we want people to be able to go back and cook this at home. Um, so we've chopped some chicken. So we're going to fry the chicken. We're going to fry some onions. And then once the chicken's cooked properly, we're going to transfer it into a big pan. And then we're going to put the sauce in. And we've got, we're going to do some basmati rice, some onion barges, and some uh, naan breads as well. How are we doing? And whilst the curry simmers, Sue takes a few moments to go through some kitchen rules with the group. Um, make sure the knives are out of reach of the children. Never cook in loose clothes and keep long hair tied back. Um, be careful not to leave them near any open flames, you know about all that kind of things, mm -hmm. we discussed that. Turn so pan handles away from where you're cooking, which we've just been doing then. So we're trying not to have the pan handles sticking right out, because obviously you're going to walk past. Everything goes to the side or to the back. Yeah. You all having a bit of everything, my babe? Yeah. yeah? Right, yeah. I think ladies should go first. One of those attending today's session is Jordan and he explains what the hinge has done for him. Since I've been been what I've been going through, basically okay. these have helped me support me through sure. uh, through day to day things and I come here um, to get more skills. So like if I was living on my own I can come here every Friday and um, they can support me for what what I'm doing, like cooking and cleaning, putting them all away. And then it's like even though it's like an, an hour, an hour and a half, well, an hour and a half sessions, it's still gaining something new, and I really thank them for them. What do you think of the staff here and the people that, that, that well, you know, teach us? Well, what do I think of staff? I think they're all, they're all amazing. Uh, from day to day, what they do, Monday to Friday, they help, they help young individuals out, and uh, I thank them. They're amazing. All, all the team here are amazing. The Hinge Centre is run by Eve Laird. She's been there for nine of the ten years it's been going and has seen its importance in the local community grow and grow every year. She says it's a challenging environment, but the staff make sure it's a fun place to work as well. Obviously, we're dealing with some really difficult um, and challenging situations. People often come to us in crisis. So because of that, that's very emotive and can be quite heavy. The flip side of that is the team always try to be friendly. We have a, all have a really good sense of humour. No matter what's going on, we try to offer um, you know, some, uh, a friendly environment, a non-judgmental environment. Um, some of the team members deal with their kind of stresses in various different ways. There's a, a really good, um, well, there's a lot of banter that goes on amongst the team. We are a really close-knit team. Um, everybody gets on really well. So I would say the atmosphere can be jovial, but then at times it can be quite serious depending on you know, what we're doing and, and who we're dealing with and things. 